Hello! If you're a beginner and just starting to work with models in Unity, this video is for you. In it, we'll look at the mistakes beginners make when they start using 3D models in their projects. And of course, we'll offer solutions that are simple and clear to everyone. Let's not waste time and get straight to the point. The first mistake is the incorrect position of the object's center. Every mesh in Unity has a pivot. The pivot is the object's center. It should be in the correct place. Otherwise, as we see now on the screen, the object rotates around an unclear position. It's inconvenient to move it and change its size. Let's fix the object center. The simplest way would be to create an empty object, name it, and place the object with geometry as subsidiary of it. Now we can use the empty object as the source object. But there's a better way. For this, you need to go to Blender. We see that the geometry itself is centered, but the pivot is offset. Let's select the object and go to the Object tab. Here's a function called SetOrigin, which sets the object's center position. With our model, we can do it in different ways. The first option is to place the object's center at the center of the geometry. And the second option is to place the object's center at the 3D cursor. Let's use the second option so it's convenient for us to place the cactus pot on surfaces. Now let's export the modified object to Unity. To export the model correctly, let's set certain settings for it that you can see on the screen. Now that the object is loaded in Unity, we see that the old model rotates around an unknown center, and the new one rotates around the center we set, which is correct. This will make it easier for us to rotate the model via scripts or with animation. Moving and resizing have also become much more convenient. Error number two is the incorrect object size. A game object should always be scaled correctly so that it fits the environment. I imported a character into the scene and it's over 2 meters tall. That's a real giant. It's very easy to check this. I placed one cube over another and checked how high it was compared to the character. Cubes in Unity are created with a size of one game unit, which is approximately equivalent to one meter. It turns out that our character is over 2 meters tall. Moreover, its scale parameters are also somehow unattractive. It's very good when the scale parameters are always one. In other cases, problems may arise with linking to animations and various other difficulties. The first option to change this is to change the scale factor when importing the model. Currently our scale factor is 1, but we need to substitute an expression instead. I'll calculate it. 1 divided by the size of the character we currently have. Now, let's apply the scale factor, save it, and we see that the characters have shrunk. They've become normal size. Nevertheless, in the scale parameter, we still have some not very good values. It's best if they're equal to 1. Let's go to Blender for this. Here, I'll select the character and press the hot key N. It will open the window with the character's transformations. As you can see, the size is incorrect here too. Let's apply the size transformation. To do this, go to the Object tab, then Apply, and here, select either Scale or All Transforms. Now, let's export the model again with the required settings we've already defined and import it into Unity. We see that the character now has the correct size, it's under 2 meters tall, and it looks like a normal person. Albeit a cartoon one, of course. Error number 3. Incorrect materials. If materials in the project appear pink, it means there's a shader error. Typically, this is due to the material not being suitable for the specific render pipeline. To fix this, you need to select the correct shader in the material settings. We provide packs with properly configured shaders for all render pipelines, so they'll immediately change all materials to the correct ones. My project is set up for the universal render pipeline, but I have standard shaders selected. They're not suitable for the universal render pipeline. I need to change them. Let's go to this menu and select Universal Lid. Sometimes you need to reassign textures because they might get detached. As we can see, the materials are correct and no longer show an error. However, be careful if you import a model with complex shaders from Blender, its materials will most likely not import into Unity. You'll have to create your own new shader in Unity. Error number 4. Overly heavy model. 
As an example, I exported a model from Blender, the Susan Monkey model, but with subdivision surface modifiers applied. I placed several such models on the scene, and we already see that even in scene mode, the scene is lagging. If we go into play mode, we see that the FPS is very low, and this is very bad. Let's pay attention to what is wrong. The problem is that we have too many triangles, currently 100 million. It's too many, their number needs to be reduced. To do this, let's go back to Blender and add a new modifier. The modifier is called Decimate. You need to apply it multiple times. It will take quite a long time to apply, especially if you have a very polygonal model, like mine. When it applies, we see that the number of polygons on the left, which I have displayed, decreases. I applied this modifier several times, and now I see that the model no longer has too many polygons and doesn't create problems on the scene in Unity. Now, we render far fewer triangles, get a beautiful effect, and we still have a high FPS. For comparison, here are two models. One of them is very polygonal, you can see it by the wireframe, and the other is much less so. Nevertheless, the result is almost identical. However, be careful if you use this modifier, it might change the model's UV unwrapping. Because of this, textures will shift and there will be a very unattractive effect. Therefore, we recommend creating low-poly models manually. Error number 5. Lack of collisions. I downloaded a temple model, placed it on the scene, my cactus fits it perfectly. I place him, add a rigid body to it so that physics affects it, run the game, but it falls through. What's the problem? The thing is, it would be too expensive for Unity to process collisions for every mesh, so the components responsible for physics were separated. You need to add some collider to it. It's best to use simple shapes, such as a cube or sphere. But for complex structures like this, it won't work. Let's use a mesh collider, add this component, and now when we run the game, our cactus no longer falls through, everything works well. I'll specifically note that my cactus has a simplified collider, it's not a mesh collider, but a box collider. This way, we give the computer much less work to calculate when a collision needs to be calculated. And at the same time, our pot can still stand on its base, we can rotate it, and it can fall, which is very nice. Hope that now you can solve these problems and avoid making these mistakes anymore. You can also follow the links in the description. We have many useful tutorials there, which are posted on our channel. They are more detailed and explain each error in depth. That's all for now. If you liked it, give it a like and subscribe. And be sure to mention an error you encountered when making 3D models and loading them into Unity. Write this error in the comments.